In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Seeth the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world.
What's up, guys? <clears throat> Today, the legend continues. Only in a new land. Dungeon cell key. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. The only major difference, <clears throat> I mean, aside from the fact that we're in a whole other game, is that I'm not going to be able to play online because, for some reason, my game won't download the latest calibrations, and I don't understand why. I'm going to look into it after I finish recording this episode, and we'll go from there. Bonfire! Oh god, oh god, oh god! <clears throat> nope. Alright now. Sorry, buddy. Can't do it. I like how I'm lighting these bonfires and not actually like resting up them. But, to be fair, we don't actually need to. I could beat him to death, but I'm good on that. <clears throat> Wait, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. All right. Why is he not dying? There he goes. Open that up. He didn't drop anything. He's just gonzo. Oh, that was too far away. Yeah. here. <clears throat> Let's go kill the Asylum Demon and get the flock out of Dodge. Bro. Ow. For real? Yeah, I hear No. <laughs> I ain't about that life, buddy. Get you some OJ. And get to it.
And this is how you kill the Asylum Demon in about 30 seconds. <laughs> As you can see, it was, it was a pretty easy process here. Ugh, oh, playing this game feels like coming home, man. This is easily my favorite one in the whole series. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran And Lord John, level up and kindle up bonfires. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. Well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead? <laughs> mm. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. I don't know. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> mm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Hmm? What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burn through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burn, within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> I mean... Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Okay. To, to be fair, I feel that on a spiritual level. <clears throat> Maybe. 
don't know why I left it there. Let me go over here and grab some more stuff. Am I mid rolling? You dang right I am. How's that? Alright. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Who's us, bro? Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh my, you again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. Yeah. But thanks, man. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Thanks, bro. But, uh, I'm not about it. Sorry. Ow. Besides that, he's not all sunshine and rainbows here. There's some homeward bones, which is pretty cool. A morning star and a talisman, which is pretty cool. But then this bro's got some cracked red eye orbs for invading <coughs> other worlds. here some Lloyd's talismans to stop people from healing that doesn't sound too godly to me there homie oh no 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 oh no oh no oh excuse me that's not what I wanted this is by Honda these are binoculars which we're gonna go grab and then regret because we're not gonna be able to get out of here Oh! Oh no. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back to the source. That was all bad, Jesus Christ. I told you I'd regret it. But that's okay. I ain't worried about it. Big old crow. Doing big old crow things. It's a little lost and dead. What? Alright. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. But I don't have both of them woke up. So there's a chance that I get out of here. Okay. Uh-uh. Nope. Run, Barry! Okay, heal. So that we don't die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. No, let's go over here and grab this. While we're up here. Skeletons are pretty much done following us for the most part. I said for the most part! Yeet! Okay, now they are done following us.
Whoops. Ten decks. And what is this? Eighteen strength? I might not even be able to make that happen right now. Oh, nope, we got it. Alright. Because this is going to be our weapon of choice. Obviously, because, as you guys know, Squiscar is a big boy. They like big swords. Come back and deal with him in a second. Jerked around there for a minute. Dead. Okay, let's go deal with homeboy. No. I mean, I always hate trying to make this jump. I know I can do it, but it's just a matter of should you do it. All for, what is it, a ring of sacrifice? Yep. And honestly, I have more problems making the jump back. Yeah, okay. Fairly easy. So far, so good. So far, so good. Right here. I like how when you get up here you can hear the water. That's cool to me. Chunked. Go down to the lower part here. Take care of that. Just to be safe. Oh no. Not having poise. Not having poise. That got close. Thankfully, the enemy AI was just like, yeah. <clears throat> and they didn't know what to do there for half a second. I'll allow it, though. Whoop. Really? Get out of here. And you. Look, man, I just want my rubbish. All I wanted was my rubbish. So, I mean, a man has to have trash. I miss, I miss light rolling, but we're not, we're not rolling around here with no pants, guys. Ain't happening. Gotta have some dignity about it. Having 1,001 souls is oddly satisfying. So, before anyone asks, yes, I know how to get in there and get that. No, I don't care. Dragons! Two, 
Wait, already? Jesus Christ. Shield. There's only one shield we're interested in getting here. And people who have played this game before know what it is. People who haven't, we'll find out. Real soon. Get out of here. <laughs> well, now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> You got anything I actually want? Yes. Um. Other than that, not particularly right this second. Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. And up above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. <laughs> oh, I'm a TED Talk. Yeah, I'm not here to chit chat. We talk business or we talk nothing at all. Really? Yeah, I'm not here to chit chat. We talk. Bro? <sighs> what a waste of time. Go and fall off a cliff. Alright. I probably will at some point. Gravity is the hardest enemy in all souls. Ow. Ow. My guys. Stop it. So the reason I like the sword in this game and not in uh, Demon Souls is because that. Um, so basically, you just jump off of here and over there. I'm really bad at it, but we're gonna give it one try since we're up here. Um, is because in Demon Souls it has that weird knockdown, and plus it has that really awkward second hit. Oh, we made it! Nice. Cool. Cool. All that for a crossbow. Literally all that for basically nothing. Mm. Why you can't? You can't just walk up here though, because the stairs are broke right there. But you know we got a crossbow for no reason. So, neat, I guess. Alright. I think... Can we level up? Of course not. Hold, hold up. Could I have just used an item? Yes, I could have. But I don't want to. Endurance. Oh, the faster we can get back to light rolling, the better off we're all going to be. Look at that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And we will see you next time. Bye!